what, you may be in a position where you want to go ahead and actually reset the keyboard on your iPhone. And there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest way pretty much is to go into your settings and manually reset everything there. But if you ever are in a situation where you want to reset everything on your phone, then you're going to have to factory reset it. But in this case, the first thing you want to do is make your way over to your settings application. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. You then want to scroll down where it says keyboard so you'll be able to see keyboard right there and what will happen is you'll see a bunch of different settings for your keyboard. The easiest thing you want to do is make your way over to your keyboard here and here you can go ahead and configure your keyboards. Now if you want to ever delete a keyboard what you can do is click edit and you can delete any of these keyboards that you want to. I'm going to click done. You can click into it. You can change the way your keyboard is set up with this way too. You can go and swipe back and you'll see basically all the other things. Now one of the most popular things people see is text replacement. Now, if you ever want to reset what things are stated with your keyboard, so a lot of people have it like this. If it's, you know, OMW, it's going to convert to on my way. You can go and make as many of these things as you want to. So if you want to add one, you can click plus. If you want to delete them, you can click the bottom button down here and you can delete these ones. So in this case, if I wanted to go and change it this way, well, it's going to go and convert it this way, which is really cool. You can go and do it with this one as well. So if you click here, you can go and do it like that, click done. And that's pretty much going to go ahead and remove it this way too, which is really awesome. So you can swipe back and here is where you can just go ahead and configure all these things from your keyboard. So if you want to keep things on or off, we can go and convert them. Now, typically they'll already have the, you know, stock settings within them, but if for some reason that's not that set up properly, you can change those settings with here too. Now, if you want to change everything within your keyboard, like you want it completely stock, well, you have a couple options. You can use a different keyboard or you can back up everything from your iPhone and then you can go ahead and actually just, you know, factory reset it, which I probably won't recommend doing, but you can do it that way. But if there's an issue with your keyboard where if something's not working or whatever, you can always try updating your iPhone. There should be an update available for a majority of people out there. You can update and see if that fixes the problem too. So those are a couple of different ways to fix it. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.